Look at that. Yes. Stupid frog. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Empires of the Undergrowth, where today they have updated their stuff. Because now, if we have a look at in here, actually, I don't think it's that one. It's this one. Yes, there is two new missions. There is cold blood and a bridge too far. These are like the new fire ant. I'm gonna say like DLC, but it's, I guess it's not DLC. Uh, so basically, I think there's. Can we do anything with this? Oh, here we go. So this is the new fire ant. Um, uh, what's it called? Cylindropsis Invicta is ex inexpensive and attacks both with its jaw and its stingers. Uh, and then we can branch out into two of these because we've just went into a new home, as you can see. So we can go for Fire Round Vigorous or Fire Round Pervasive. So the pervasive ants will become free to hatch if the egg has been on the tile for a short period of time before hatching. Okay, so it takes longer for them to hatch, basically, but they do become free. And at level three, they'll hatch too. Or I could do this one. Upon hatching, the ant briefly receives an attack damage, speed, and resistance buff. At level three, the tile can support two ants. Okay, so it's either I go for free ants, which, if I'm gonna be honest, sounds like way better. Or when they hatch, they become, like, in, they get attack boost, speed boost, and resistance, but they just become stronger for a short period of time. I'd rather just go for the freebie. The freebie sounds way better. Maybe I'm wrong in this, but we'll go for the freebie. Uh, evasive gives a small chance to take no damage when hit. Of <laughs> Yes. Or we can... Oh, this one costs 200. You cannot have this ability at the same time as the ability evasive. Okay, so we need to go for that one. Or fire ant attack damaging is increased when mounted on an enemy. Uh, does this make the better cut upgrade? Fire ant to level 2 provides increased health. Oh, I mean, we may as well do that then. Like, why would... Ooh, why, w why would we not want that? But th this, again, I think might be just to do in the Formicarium. Uh, upon reaching zero health, the Fire Ant is returned to full health, but only survives for a further few seconds with reduced attack and speed. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and last half, upon death, the Fire Ant deals high damage to its nearest enemy, if close enough. I think that is the best one, then. We'll go for that one. I'd rather have that so they, like, do a huge amount of damage on death. I think that's probably the best DPS I'm going to get. Carving out an existence at the edge of the swamp will not be easy for this Fire Ant colony. There you go. See, that wasn't so bad. Uh, so we could choose. E I'm going to medium. I, I, <laughs> there's only a, only ever go for hard and insane if you've done it before because the things are so random. So now we can choose whether we have per se, per uh, pervasive or invigorous or vigorous. So we're going to go for the one that's free. Uh, hopefully we get our bonus for that. And look, there it is. It's so cute. This Solenopsis Invicta Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. Ooh. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. So do we... Oh, we do have an exit. Ah, it's one of these ones. These are good. I quite like these ones. So we're, we're going to dig out. Um, where's the safest bit to go? Actually, here it is. Look, yeah, just... Ooh, do we? Do we? I don't think we do. We've got we've to gotta go this way. Um, and I think we'll, you know what, we'll dig out around our queen just a tad. Just a little bit. Yes. So apparently there's going to be other colonies. Mmm, very good. Uh, we're going to need some food tiles. I think food tiles are, yeah, we'll, we'll put them around. That's fine. That's fine. Then we're going to have a lot of that. And now, look, <gasps> it is glorious. At least this way, if things come in, they've got to go all the way around to get to our queen. Um, I don't know about any of those. So we can only make... Fire ants. Well, that's really good. I quite like when something's very basic, dear. And I don't have to worry about too much else. <laughs> uh, and how much do they cost? The worker costs 200 and the elite costs 400. Oh, sorry, 40. Two, 20 and 40. God damn it, James. Brilliant. I could barely English. Uh, I think we'll make just a little bit of workers over here. Uh, we've got a lot of food, so I kind of want to make just th those tiles there. Maybe delete that one. Um, and then... We can just, you know, make a little bit of these. So one, two, three, four. And now we can actually start. Oh, this is small. So if you didn't know, fire ants are called fire ants because bitten slash being stung by them is basically the equivalent of being set on fire. <laughs> so these guys shouldn't cost me anything to hatch. It says two food to hatch if it's been on the tile for long enough. So I, I don't know. Like, I can't. No, I can't select it. So it just kind of does it. 
That's weird. Okay. There also is, if you go down to the woods today, playing, uh, uh, like, on the on the game. I think it's, it sounds like it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any of these. And this is the problem when you've never played it before. Like, this looks like the safest, but there's only two of them. Um, good news is... Actually, what I'll do is I'll dig out this as well, because we'll be safe here. We can put some more food tiles as well. The colony lies in the shadow of a great titan to the north. Jesus! An American bullfrog. This large female has found the perfect spot to feed. Sheltered by foliage and in the path of many wandering insects Ooh. and smaller amphibians, she has no reason to move on. Eventually, she will need to be displaced. But for now... The fire ants have more pressing business to attend to. You're telling me? Many of the milkweed plants growing nearby are infested with aphids. Their honeydew excretions present an ideal, energy-rich food source for the fire ants. <gasps> aphids far from the nest are vulnerable, however, and are sometimes relocated closer to home, where they can be better protected from predators and thieves. You're saying all this stuff and I have no idea what you're doing! Uh, if aphid relocation is disabled in the pheromone group, or if the aphids are a uh, what already on the nearest milkweed plant to the nest, ants will harvest mudgeoo from the aphids. I mean, I know what an aphid is. The um, boggy soil surrounding the nest is lacking in nitrogen and phosphorus, nutrients vital for plants to photosynthesize and grow. To survive in this environment, some have evolved to supplement their mineral diet by trapping and dissolving invertebrate prey. We've got Venus fly traps! You know the quickest way to kill those? Replant it. <laughs> or repot it, I should say. Oh my yeah, god, what are these? A group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. The soft grubs may look defenseless, but they have big jaws and appetites to match. Ooh! So what was it? I, I heard silkworm or some checkered, checkered beetle. That's it. Lovely. I love the learning. The of Fadele, Maurice, big-headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west. Scavenging for seeds, aphids, and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. Oh. Oh, so these guys are like, ah, just do what you want. Woo! <laughs> They've also got these guys down in the south, so I think I need to be worried about those two. Um, so we got, like, a couple more. Uh, I don't know how dangerous um, spiders are. Like, these guys. There's loads of these. I mean, it's a spider, right? So I'm assuming it's pretty decent. Uh, I'm going to put the fire attack ants over here. Oh, my God, it's not... Fire ants! Are loose in the nest. Go, go, go! They must be protected. Here we go. I mean, this is fine. This is fine! This is fine. We're not gonna die. We're not gonna die right now. Oh, we're going to die! <laughs> the queen. Oh, no! Well, that was good. Let's restart. <laughs> Give me a second. Let's get back to where we were then. Maybe the extra attack would have helped with uh, those new ones that hatched. Possibly. Possibly. But then again, I think food's quite a big issue at the moment so i need all the food i can get yes to the outside world whoa did he just eat a whole lizard good god there's four things everywhere so one two three four do you think it's even worth giving it a shot and trying to attack these i don't know man i don't know i mean that they're, they're, they're getting there right like do i do i bother doing I've got nine of these ants, right? I can get another two more, so I can make ten. And then ten fire ants versus, versus these stupid puny grubs. I should be able to kill him. Well, I've got eleven, actually. So, never mind. You want some? You want some? Oh, they're going to get some. Oh, they're going to get some. Yes. Yes, kill them before their numbers can get up. Yes. Yes, we did it. I'm amazed, balls! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Kill them all, and then take their bodies. Right. Okay. So that's that done. I'm uh, I'm gonna make three workers here, just and then I can put them on that. Waypoint two can go for these aphids, so we can get like a constant stream of stuff from that. I think that's probably the best thing to do, and then, you know, couple more of those, and I think we should be able to take on whatever this is. This is all question marks, so I don't know if we want to actually go for that. That doesn't seem like food. I mean, I've even got a level two one in here. I don't know where he is, but go on then. Everybody get in here. We've got plenty of food. we got this. I don't know what this is. Please don't be bad. Oh, it's more of them. Yes. 
Easy kills. Oh, yes. Nom, 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 nom. Wait, intruders in the nest? Oh, oh, right. He's talking about these guys. Oh, <laughs> you big silly. They're dead. We'll make that a little bit bigger. So we've got more food stores. And hopefully... Yes, they're just sort of waiting for them to get more, I don't know, lactate or something. God knows. <laughs> yeah, we'll upgrade the... Oh, yes. These. Oh, three more level twos. And then we should be able to get two more level twos. Yeah, look at this. Ho, ho, ho. We just... Oh, that's it. And then we can make a level three. Heck yeah. We got like a boss level land. All right. With that being said... I think we could probably very easily now take this on. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Let's find out. Please don't be too bad. Look, we got some big ones. Some big fire ants. Ah! Oh, look at that worker. He goes in. He's fearless, that guy. In the nest. Yes. Lots of food for days. And then, I don't know. Can we upgrade these? Upgrade. All right. We're about to get our one and only level three so far. I mean, I hope so. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, yeah. I wonder if... So, if they die, do they do the big amount of damage? I'm not so sure. So, where's that level three? Where is he? Even in small numbers... There he is. Look at him. He's huge. Look at him go. <laughs> but do we bother going for this thing? That's all question marks? We have to go all the way around? We have to go around here, kill all them, and then look at all this. Wow. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, we need to go this way. I, I think we're doing good at this point, right? You know, maybe make another one there and another one there. Another one there. Go on, then. Get in. Oh, my God. The level three died instantly. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Never mind. Yes. They only give you five, though. But I guess when I die, it doesn't cost me anything. So all of the uh, these fire ants that do die, I, I basically get back for free. So it doesn't make any difference to me. It's brilliant. I just make more. Upgrade them. This looks like a big thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know what it is? Because that's a really big exclamation mark. I think I'm probably better just uh, maybe heading out. I mean, they have all these plants, right? And it only gives you like maybe 100, 120. Whereas if this is a big thing and I kill it, it could give us a lot. As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin oh, to... Oh, what is this thing? I don't even know what that is. The water's edge. Oh, but the we're killing it. Will be so that's good. Quickly. Oh, sweet. In numbers or not at all. Ooh, bombardier beetles. Oh god, they've got like level threes. Jesus. Maybe maybe I don't want to go and disturb them. Ah, I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, dead spiders. Yes. Don't know what killed them, but let's take them away. <laughs> A bombardier beetle, Brachinus altianans, is hunting for insects outside the nest. Where? It may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that share the <gasps> swamp at night. Look, it's a little newt! Well That's alone. so cute! This beetle is a master of chemical warfare. Is that it? Oh, that, oh yeah, I've seen that one before. Uh, don't fight. Don't fight. Ants have clashed with a bombardier beetle. Yep. Feeling threatened, the beetle mixes a cocktail of chemicals that react together, boil, and explode from a valve at the base of its abdomen. You say that, but it just completely missed. Okay, go back, go back, everyone go back, they're coming. We don't want to disturb them. Don't show that we went after their pine cone. We just got so much food. Oh my god, open this chamber up. This could be a whole nother one. Unless we would, ooh, maybe we want to expand this one. Just make the, yeah, make that even bigger. Um, yeah, they're not going for, they're, they're going up here. Are they eating leaves? I have no idea what they're going for. These guys are keeping the aphids in check. At night, eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground looking for food. Ants make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, what? they are excellent diggers. What? It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. Oh! It's a frog? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, get, guys, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Sod it. I, w I wanna, I wanna dig it out. It's not coming for me. I'm coming for it. <laughs> I have so much food now. Hold on. Let me just like. There we go. Oh, the American bullfrog. So the longer we leave it, the more health he gets then, right? Quickly, move over. Yep, yep, yep. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. What is it? Oh my, oh my God. A narrow-mouthed toad ah! burrowed into the nest. No, attack it! Oops! It <laughs> time, but its appetite for ants is insatiable. 
Secretions from its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. That's fine. We can easy kill it. Attack its butty! Yes! <laughs> I mean, yeah, that frog can go that way. That's fine. I don't care about that. This guy, I don't have to worry about. He's probably just going to get killed by something else that's here. Come on. Come in. Come on. What you doing? Uh, I can't afford this. I can't afford to sit away and round. Right, Sodji. I'm going to go this way. We're, we're going all the way. We're going to leave the nest completely undefended. And we're going to get some pine cones. Because apparently he's just running around in a circle. He's probably going to come in this way. Uh, and hit my food stores. But I think we've got enough time to get over there. Yeah, just don't attack anything. <gasps> the workers! They got some stuff! I mean, there's like... Oh, 480 resources there. Uh, please don't come in this way. Don't don't hit this bit. Just don't do this the one. Ants must defend themselves. Oh, good. But they don't need to. Look, he barely does anything to them. Oh, you are attacking. I don't know why you're attacking. I've told you not to attack. Maybe you've got a self-defensive thing. Possibly. Well, you're going to kill it anyway. Or are you? <laughs> there's a level two there. <laughs> the other one just, he's almost dead, mate. What are you doing? At least kill it. Oh, right. Okay, fine. Kill it. There you go. Wait, wait where did the frog go? And the salamanders and toads retire to their damp alcoves to wait out the sun. Oh. Only the great bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next meal to wander by. The great bullfrog. Okay, so we're going to get a lot of food from that. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's what we want. We've got plenty of the panko. Oh, there's apparently another one there. Is, was there, is there other resources? Are there leaves? Can, can we even pick leaves? Apparently we can. Hmm. Hmm. Would, would the best thing be to, like, select another plant like this and then have... Oh, I don't like the look of this thing. It's just, it's going to, like, attack us if we go to eat it. And, like, put some, uh, like, army ants with them. Or not army ants. Fire, other, like, fire ants. That could be the better idea, I think. But maybe we just excavate all this first. And saying that, I have a so much stuff. We can make way more level, like, threes and things. I, I haven't had too much trouble with things at the moment. And I've just got a bunch more level twos, level threes. So I think, personally, we're in with a good chance. I like, I like not knowing my health and my ants. And just be like, oh, we're winning. I want to have a look. Ah! Oh yeah, that's right. Attack! <laughs> a fully developed checkered beetle, Enoclerus rosmaris, has been disturbed by the ants. It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws as its juvenile counterpart, but now paired with thick armor plates. It's dead. So <laughs> now paired with body. thick armor plates. It's dead. I killed it. That's brilliant. So you're telling me that I can now go in here and just get all of this resource. Look at all this. Yes. Although there's no exit, which is interesting. So the longer we leave it, the bigger the bullfrog gets. The fatter he becomes. Pinecone's gone. Oh, no. Pinecone's still there. That's good. That's good. And there's also two other nests I could invade. The blue one seems to be the weakest out of them. Like, this guy, he's, he's getting a lot of stuff. He's probably the hardest one to do. Um... All right, I just want to dig this way. Hopefully there's nothing here. It's not showing that there's anything here. And this is going to be a new... Oh my god! Look at all of that. Yes! Give me. Give me all of it. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. We're going to need... <gasps> We're going to need more food tiles. I mean, look at all this, man. There's so many. I'm now just wondering where do I... I mean, I could make another batch of army ants, I suppose, here. I keep calling the army ants. Fire ants, damn it. <laughs> Get your ants facts straight, beavers. God. We've got so many. So many. Look at all this. And then, I think we can pretty much just dig out to here. I don't know what this is. They're little exclamation marks. And then pretty much the rest of it is just free food. Which is a bit worrisome. Because then, I mean, I don't know how terrible this thing is. Maybe he is pretty terrible. I don't know. Yes, collect all of the juicy beans. I feel like I want a batch of workers that I could just send out as well, because they're a little bit cheaper. And if I just want to collect food, 
Or maybe I just want to put them on nest duty. I can. There you go. Loads of workers there. Sweet. I'm assuming because we're fire ants, we can cross the water in order to get that. <gasps> maybe that's... Yeah, it's this bit here. This bit must be where we cross. And then there's loads. Oh, what is this? What is this beetle? Is that a wasp? It's got wings. I don't like it. All of these big poop plop plants. They've always got like something deadly near them. Except for this one, actually. That one does. In order to secure these big ones, we're probably going to have to kill the, the guardian of it, I think. It does have a health bar. So, yep, we will have to attack it at some point. So if I had the, whole, the the new set of workers, the new set of attack ants, and we just sent them to, like, go over here, then they could harvest all of that resource as well as, you know, protect them from all of the other stuff outside. Come, we got this. So once we get over here, I want you guys to then dig over this way. Ah, that's it? That's all you have? Hopefully the workers didn't die. Intruders in the nest. I got the feeling the workers did die, though. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait. I'm assuming if you were on, like, insane difficulty, that frog and then this burring frog would have came in as well. The narrow-mouthed, whatever you want to call him. Oh, look at this colony. Ooh, look at the seed! Where's it gonna lie? Oh, there it is. Are they gonna get it? That's my seed. They better not touch it. See, they know! No! Ooh, it's war then! <laughs> Right, everybody's coming here, and then we're done. Once we get all this, we'll be able to maximum strength, and then I want to expand out and get this area. I don't know what this wasp is. I'm assuming it's a wasp. But those eyes. is evil looking. Evil. So I'm just going to fill out this entire place. Maybe upgrade them? I don't know if upgrading is the best. I think if I've got an opportunity to upgrade one to level three. Ooh, how deadly is a newt? Okay, these look like workers. Oh, oh no, bless it. Right, sod it. Does this now when we attack the frog? I mean, I could send all of my dudes to attack it and I get them back for free, right? Should we do it? Just like attack the frog like right now? <laughs> I mean, what? We got like 40, 50, 60, 70, 71? 71 ants? I think we could do it. I think we can do it. We've got some workers just slowly collecting food here. If they die, I, it's it's free real estate. <laughs> it's just like, no worries. Apparently there's something big here, but I can't see it. Unless it, they mean that spider and that spider. Everybody, like, maybe maybe hold up a little bit before you... Uh, oh, God. Oh. Oh, oh no, it's kind of working. Fire ants have mounted their first attack upon the great American bullfrog, Leaderbait Scatesby. Wait, he's got minions! The frontline soldiers are quickly crushed and eaten. They must surround and swarm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, climb on his arms! Bite him! Nibble him! Kill him! Yes! Ha ha ha! Yes! Oh, oh wait, are we doing damage to him? I don't even know! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! It's in the workers! We got his little minions come in now! Oh god, and the bombardier beetles have gotten the way. Oh, at least look at that! Yes! Look at the health on you! Sucky! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no, there's the big frogs! Big froggies! It's okay, we'll get them. That was that was the first attack. Look at that! Yes! <laughs> Stupid frog! Kill him! My god, there's so many frogs. We got another one in here. I don't... I, he doesn't know where he's going. We probably should have waited to surround him a little bit, but... Uh... Oh my god, did he just eat like 20 ants there? That was ridiculous. He was like a megaton or something. Right, I don't think I need to worry about this guy. He's fine. I think now we can go back and kill the uh, the bullfrog. Am I speedrunning Stratonus? I think I am. Maybe the, this type of ant is just OP. The fact that, like, it costs nothing. <laughs> uh, is he going to burrow in there? Or is he going to turn around? What are you going to do? Ooh, I think he's threatening. I think he's threatening. I don't think he'll actually do it. Or you. No, I don't think you will. I think they'll get really close and that's it. So, we did a fair amount of damage. <laughs> he summoned his amphibian brethren, but they died. Go, 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 go! You know what? We're not even losing food. We're just gaining it. I want to kill you. I want to you. You're dead. Go on then. Where you go? Oh. Climb on his limbs. Yes. Get on it. Oh my god. <laughs> he ate like all of them. Yeah. There we go. Nibble on him. Nibbles. Wow. That was horrendous. The amount that just died there. 
Oh, well, at least they all hatched again. <laughs> yes. Attack! Nom noms! Yeah, these guys are just... I don't even know what they're doing. Are you, you going to burst in yet? I don't think you are. I think you're going to turn around. I think you're a coward. Ha-ha! You put me right. <laughs> you know what it is? I kind of I kind of want to see what this wasp does before I kill this frog. For the swamp amphibians, the nighttime feast is over. Are you going to do bridge? Give way to tiger beetles and the ant oh god, there it is! There's the wasp! If the fire ants are to stand any chance of a oh, it's dead. long lasting cool. empire, they must grow quickly. There is no time to waste. Off we go. So we need numbers then. Number, numbers are what we need. I don't know how we harvest this thing. Is that for workers only? Maybe. Lord knows. Yeah. I don't I don't know how to get this one. Maybe it's maybe only workers can fit in that one. You know, just 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 this. <laughs> if that's what we need. Okay, we've claimed this one. Very good. Maybe the little workers. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Get all Magnolia of these guys. What's the happened? Jumping spider, Lisoman Veridis, has ambushed a fire ant. It prefers to hunt on foliage, where it is less likely to be spotted by predators and prey alike. Out on the ground, it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants far from the safety of the nest. I can't get these things. It says it's got 40 the food. have been attracted to secretions of nectar produced by a yellow pitcher plant. In order to feed, however, the ants must position themselves precariously over a deep vat of digestive liquid. Waxy deposits on the rim ensure that any ant that steps too far in won't be stepping out again. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Our ants have encountered a tribe of Monomorium Minimum Black Ants. These tiny little ants may seem feeble, but the Invicta colony would do well to treat them with caution. Although primarily scavengers, they are armed with powerful chemical secretions and have been known on occasion to invade fire ant nests. Is that so? You know what? Sod it. I'm going to go on the complete offensive and I'm going to kill the black ants then. I need these. And I think I can do it. There we go. Even more. We need the numbers. And because everything's free, I <laughs> don't need to worry. This is so OP. Watch out for this little, this big green spider. Get him! Nom, 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 nom. We're fire ants. I am death. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay, so let's let's go invade their colony. Cause sod it. I mean, th there's little 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 ants here. Oh, okay. I see. Well, they've got to go back at some point, don't they? Right. We're gonna go in their colony. We're gonna kill them. Sod it. I don't care. I think they've all went in now. Yes. Yes, we're in. We got two. Two unlocked. Sweet. This is this is their colony. This is it. Raiding party of little black ants Ooh. are stealing aphids. They must be chased down quickly. Where's the queen? Is this the queen? There's your queen. Kill the queen. No 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 no. A battle of the ages. Look at them. No. Oh, they're scared. Are we scared? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, again, this queen's gonna be a bit tricky, isn't it? Oh, they're disorientating me! Tiger beetle, Chichindala sexcutata, is on the move near the nest. Its metallic green elytra make it unmistakable, and like its other tiger beetle cousins, long legs give it the speed to chase down small arthropods with ease. Yes, we're in the hallway! If we kill the workers, they can't keep placing eggs. And we're, yeah, we've done it. I think we've done it. Is almost defeated. The Invicta army must press their advantage. Yeah, I'm doing it. Don't worry, we're killing all the workers before they can place eggs. Yes. Kill the queen! Look at her, she's tiny! Then we can reap the spoils! Get him! Yes! I think we've done it! Woohoohoo! Yes! Oh, she was tough. Oh, there the we go. Little black ants fought to the last to defend their queen. Now the Invicta colony will enjoy the spoils of war. Woo! Defenseless larvae from the vanquished colony will be carried home and fed to the victor's own hungry brood. Oh. Oh, so much food! Yes! <laughs> the spoils of war! <laughs> I freaking love this game, man! Why can't we make this multiplayer already? This would be so freaking good! It's like you defeat a player, and not only do you defeat a player, you get all of its lava! I don't know where that other little beetle went, but we are, we are next level. Next level. Yes! Oh, wow. There's too much food here. Too much?! Heavens to Betsy! There we go. 
Right, so we don't need to worry about the... These guys might be a little bit tougher because there's a lot of them. I, fr I love this game. I, lo <laughs> I love this oh. game so much. I can't place my tiles in here. Like, that would be cool if I could have a second nest. But I can't do that. So, we're going to have to go back to our nest. And because we've got so... Oh my god, we can get like 100. There you go. Oh, sorry, 10. <laughs> Maybe a little bit overestimated the amount of food I had there. Got a bit carried away there. Okay. So, then we go back to this one. Yeah, we're, we're slowly getting there. Is there anything big in the way? Oh, it's a little green spider. Ah, and he comes with us. Yum, 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 yum. Next is the yellows. I don't think... I mean, we... It was a bit tough here, but as long as we just get the numbers up and we just get that choke point and kill the workers, that's the problem. I mean, that... Well, that's the problem we, we can pose to them. But we'll get there, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, here, here they come. Now a streamline advance. There's three... What were they collecting? A little baba larvas. Oh my god, there is just so much in here. If I went to my place, and yeah, I've got like workers here. Where's the 17 workers? Where are those? Oh, they're up here. Okay, we dig this out, and then we make even more workers. Yeah, keep it like that. But now we've got the this plant. A green link oh, a green link spider! She prefers to hunt on pitcher plants, but out in the open, she loses her advantage. Far from defenseless, however, when threatened, she can spit venom up to 30 centimeters from her fangs. Jesus! Well, it's dead, but it killed a lot. And again, like I said, I'm way OP because my ants just don't cost anything. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We just need all the workers we can get. In fact, we can just delete this wall and make even more workers. So then we can have all of the workers going to the second colony and harvesting everything there. While, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, where's the three? Where's those three workers? Oh, did I just merge them all together? I did. <laughs> I was gonna put them in together anyway. Okay, so there's the big lot of workers. You guys can go all the way over here. Whereas the main attack force. The ants must defend themselves. The main attack force, eh, I mean, I guess you can support them for the time being. I don't even know if any workers have made it through yet. Ah, that's why. Bit of a bit of a roadblock on the way. Here we go, and then go in there. At this point, it's like, well, I've, I've just got so much. I, I, <laughs> what do I do? Can I upgrade? Yeah, I can upgrade that tile. We can make a food tile here, food tile there. That's what I'm just, it starts nice and neat, and then you just need to expand. So then it doesn't become nice and neat. I do want like a little brood that I can yeah, just have for the queen. So like these guys. It's this? So yeah, these, these guys can stay with the queen. Yeah, they can help out. Okay, spider's dead. It only had 33 bloody health. Um, and then if we look into this. Yeah, all the little ants. They're good. They're good. Tell you what, little ants. While we're not doing anyth anything with you, you can go and help the queen. Go in here. Yes, 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 yes. We have 890 food. <laughs> right, I think it might be about time to take on the big heads. I don't know how to get to them, though. This way. This is the way for the big heads. And then we take on the big froggy. We did do damage to him. And there, you can see his dead brethren. Psychological warfare, that's what that is. That's what we need. 102! Good God. Okay, here we go. I don't know where, where the entrance is. Where, where is it? Ah, here it is. And the predators of the day give way to their nocturnal counterparts. Oh God, this isn't As good. As they encroach on colony territory, battles must be chosen wisely. Yeah, you're telling me. Spread too thin, the fire ants could find themselves quickly overwhelmed. I don't think so. I've got 45 workers, if not even more. And look, they're all going in. This is the perfect time. I mean, I don't know what else is out the here. The headed ants now have a super soldier cast to justify their name. At huge economic cost to the colony, these frenzied champions have been raised for one purpose. To crush the fire ants. What do you mean? Okay, there's the queen. A false bombardier beetle, Galerita Bicola, is also on the prowl for small prey tonight. It impersonates the true bombardier to ward off potential predators. Oh! And its mimicry isn't simply visual. It too can spray defensively from its abdomen. In this case, the fluid of choice is the familiar formic acid. Oh, this one's a bit tricky. It's all the way at the back and its workers are, you know, they're, well, they're, they're getting stuff. So. 
We just need to get through. Get through. Slowly push. If we can just get to this, this bit here, we can stop them from reinforcing. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I mean, how much food? Oh, look at him. He's like, hello. Take advantage while it can. Few meals surrender so willingly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Reverse. Um... Do I need to worry about toads? We're okay here. We're, we're getting there, actually. I think I think we've almost done it. Yeah, just get to the choke. Get to the choke. I mean, really, we want to be here. This is where we want to be. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now we're just going to be killing workers. Yes! <laughs> yes! Please, no toads. Okay, there's one toad. Two toads. That's fine. I just need to get to this queen. That's all I need to do. Get to the queen. Right. Come on, big heads. Big heads! Freaks! <laughs> Get to the queen! Yes! In the nest. We've done it! I think we've done it. Have we done it? Yes, there it is. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Okay, quickly get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Their champions spent and their queen vanquished. Look at them go. In the end, they could not stand up to the might of the Invicta army. You're telling me. Well, that's a lot of spores to get, but at the moment, it's it's a bit tricky over here. Intruders in the nest. There's a lot of freaking frogs. <laughs> oh, my God. Help. Okay, we need to get this guy. He's closest to the queen. Yes, get him. I mean, if it just eats one by one, that's fine. But I think it does like a big group attack at one. Oh god, there's how many toads? We need to break through. Oh wait, no, don't do that. This is good. must be protected. There we go. We got this. We got this. We got this. Freaking toad assaults. Another one just running around here. Oh god! So many of them! Come on, just kill one. Just kill one. Yes! We've still got like 40, like 60 workers just, you know, going ham, putting the eggs in. And we've still got this bunch here that they're they're not getting to, which is good. And this one as well, that the workers are just constantly. Yeah, look at these guys, they're like, eh, place it down! <laughs> Almost done. I mean, maybe we make this a little bit wider so we can actually get through. There's another one dead. Good, good. It's, it just takes a little bit of time. Just a little bit. Did these guys break through? I don't know if they did. Go on, just break through. There we go. Yes. Now the channel's bigger and we can actually surround them. Yep, there you go. I mean, what we're losing food is when they eat the workers. That's the problem. Yeah, by the time they eat one, they've lost like a quarter of their health. Ah, there you go. There's probably just one left. There he is. Get him, boys. And then, well, we did it, didn't we? We we killed the yellows. So actually, we all need to go to the yellows and just steal all the food. All the food. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, and now... We'll take everybody, including the workers, to this area. So we'll have... <laughs> I don't even know how many. There's like 200 ants are now coming all this way. And we've still got, what, like 20 workers just helping with the nests? Which I think is probably good enough. Staving off another night of attacks, the Invicta colony once again proves its strength. Heck yeah, I do. Despite this victory, there is yet one obstacle that stands in its way. Sit! Ever present, the bullfrog looms over the ants. The beast must be defeated. Oh, easy peasy. Don't worry about it. Like, look at this. <laughs> Everything is easily defeated here. We're about to get in. 165 ants coming. And look, there's so many. Yes, 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 yes. Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh my god. Right, so first off, you'll go into this one. Yep, grab the food here. I don't know where these guys are going, actually. Oh, they're going to the queen. All right, go there then. And grab all that. Just dig out all this. Dig out all this and make this another... Oh, yeah. Oh, we can... oh, we could have cut through here instead of going all the way around. Oh, okay. Didn't realize that. Just dig all that out. Oh my god, we actually got it all? 
<gasps> there was so much food there, though. Right, in comes the big load of food. There's going to be so much. So we're about 300 now. Yep. And here it goes. 400? 500? 600? 700? 800? 900? Whoa, good God. And let's spend it all. We're making everything level two. <laughs> that guy just picked up a seed. I knew it. That's the trophy from the black ants. Yes. That's what they get for taking our seeds. Right, workers, turn around, because you're the only thing that actually costs me real money or real food. Yeah, this was just so OP. It's like, oh, you, you get a little bit of extra attack and speed and defense when they hatch, a or you can have them all for free. Dazzy Mutilla Occidentalis, the hell's this? Commonly known as the Red Velvet Ant, has wandered into Invicta territory. Jesus! Although not on the hunt for fire ants, it will defend itself if threatened. Armed with an extremely powerful sting and displaying bright warning stripes, most creatures give it a wide berth. Hmm. Kill it! <laughs> Kill it! Oh yeah, it'll defend itself. It came for us. And it's dead. Well, that was your fault then, wasn't it? Alright, everybody. Go on then. Is this enough? Is this enough to kill the bullfrog? Oh, we always end up with little uh, Roblox. Little rub bumps along the way, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go! Kill him before he has time to heal! Yes! Go, my pretties! Nom nom nom! Oh! <laughs> no! Jesus, he could do a body slap! Oh! The great bullfrog. If they do not possess the numbers necessary to overwhelm the creature, this could be very costly for the colony. Oh, you're telling me, but it's not costly for the colony, is it? Because they're all free. Yeah. There you go. Just, just now go one by one. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh, they're the, all the ones that died. <laughs> yeah, these workers are going to be working overtime. Thank God we got like a hundred of them. Yep. Yeah, I think just the the flow, constant flow. You know, if he does the big tongue and eats a bunch at the same time, as long as we're like slow about it, he won't eat too many of us. You know, as long as a couple get on top, that's what it's all about. Yes. Yes, he's dying. Look at him. He's covered. He's covered in ants. Yes. Yeah, we got him. Yes. Overwhelmed with burning venom, the bullfrog <laughs> finally succumbs to the might of the fire ants. Utterly spent, it collapses on the hillside, leaving the victors free to consume its body. 1,200 flesh. No, 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 no. We've had it's probably more. Thanks to the ants, the presence of the bullfrog was keeping many other local amphibians at bay. What? The power vacuum it left behind is attracting a host of salamanders and frogs eager to take its place. The ants should go to ground quickly and prepare for the imminent chaos. Oh. Oh, it's not over. Oh, we've just engaged boss level. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, well, we've got 10 seconds. Everybody, I mean, how many ants do we have? We have so many. 120 attackers. Come on, we got this. We got this, right? Oh, well, there's one newt. It's not really doing that much. Here, yeah, there's another newt. <laughs> Look at his little legs. <laughs> there's so many of us. Yes. Oh, you think? You think, do you? I don't think so. You have... Oh, okay, you've killed one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's fine. That's fine. Ease peas. Right, what are the other things coming in? More newts. That's fine. You're just going to kill yourselves. Oh, another. Is it? Oh, the tiny narrow no, nose. Whatever. That's fine. All right. Maybe we need to split these guys up. We need one side over here and one side over here. There we go. Delegate them. That's how we win. Get some more. Yeah, look, look at that. They can't even break through even into this. Like, that's dead. That's dead. He's dead. This one's about to come in and also die. Uh, we got one more. Two more? Yeah, with this guy. Oh, another one. Oh, another narrow toad. Blech. I like how they stick out their tongue when they die. That's cute. <laughs> right, how are these guys doing down here? Ah, they're fine. Still, look at it. It's not costing me anything. Maybe if it did and every ant was like four, like, like I said, we're losing loads. But again, maybe they're a little bit slower. But uh, yeah, they don't cost me anything, so... This is easy mode, apparently. I didn't realize that. <laughs> there you go. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, it loads there. <laughs> om nom 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 nom, mine. As the anarchy above ground settles and with the invaders crushed, a new order is established. This is now the domain of the fire ant. Yeah, damn, Skippy it is. Yes. Look at us. I don't know where they're going. Are they going back to yellows? They're probably going back to yellows. We left a lot of food over there. <laughs> yes! Extra food, royal jelly, and everything! Oh, wait, do we choose? Whether we want territory or more royal jelly? Well, I can only spend, like, a couple of royal jelly. Oh, go for the jelly. Hello! I knew it. I knew it. With the proper exposure and stimulation, the mutation possibilities are boundless. The potential for amalgamation... <laughs> Which is, of course, an epistatic effect owing to increased cytoplasmic facidity in what the... What are you doing? Preparing the report. Can you not do it quietly? Perhaps try using the keyboard? The keyboard? How quaint. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we will put in a new, like, um, formicarium area. So I don't even know what to... Oh my god! Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty. There's a shovel in here. Good God. How tiny are we? Whoa. There's another one there, which we really can't see. Oh, are we in a bowl? <gasps> we are in a bowl. So we've only got one more mission left to do, which is 4.2, a bridge too far. Impending floods could mark the end for this fire ant colony. So we'll obviously not do that right now. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, maybe we'll do the next one. Ooh, exciting. But I think I've fire anted out at the moment for today. But who knows? You're probably watching this in the future and there's another fire ant episode out. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye <laughs>